All right, everyone. Welcome back to the masked episode, part two of our first part of our two-part series. It's a lot of numbers I just threw at you. Uh, this is the Buckle Bomb. I'm your boy, the Star Boy, with Jay Amazing, Jay Amazing in, in the building. The building. <laughs> we also got uh, <laughs> Felix. Yep, Felix. <laughs> everyone, it's Felix. It's been a little while, guys. We've been out. We've been out. We need to remember everything. Right. I'm I'm dragging ass through the rest of this year. I don't know what to tell you. I feel you. It's been that year for everyone. But mm-hmm. uh, more the importantly, fourth, the fourth P boy. Yeah, we don't right now. <laughs> the fourth P boy. <laughs> oh yeah, that's Ke- Keanu. Yeah, Keanu's the P boy. We didn't forget about our fellow P boy. Oh, I have I have big shoes to fill then. That Keanu, you know, he is he's no. pretty big. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but if you didn't know, now you know. We also got our boy Prince Adam. This is DJ Princey P. Princey P. <laughs> Princey P, dude. He's an honorary P boy for this episode. He said it, Princey P. I've been listening to a lot of Snoop Dogg. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a skit in there where it's like a, a radio DJ. He's DJ like, E. Yeah. What? <laughs> DJ Easy, shut your mouth. <laughs> what in the world? I I'm not I'm not That's before your time, boy. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> God, I I've been trying to get back into older music. Like I've been listening to a lot of NWA. I said older music. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry to all of our older listeners. Yeah, bro. Oh that back in the ancient bro, bro, that's, that's fucking hurt a lot of people. <laughs> NWA. I always listen to a crap ton of Michael Jackson. I'm a Michael. I know you're a Prince fan, but I'm a super Michael dare fan. You. Yeah, I dare you. They got I, real. They I'm, got I'm definitely like yeah, Prince. Heat. I'm definitely Prince over MJ. Like I'm just. Oh uh, yeah, <sighs> my lord. I like Prince, but I mean, it's always Michael a made more money, to, but that doesn't mean that he, <laughs> <laughs> he's the better musician. And like out of all of it, it was like, mm-hmm. Prince did everything. Yeah, he, he actually released the he released the jazz album mm. called oh, I forget what it's called, but he it was under a fake name, under a fake producer. Are you he serious? Played, yeah, he played all the instruments except for saxophone. And yeah, he didn't release it under Prince. He just released music. Just bro, like, boom, boom, what? Boom, That's yeah. legendary. Bro. I remember. You, you, I remember. You know, like, he went to the symbol because he couldn't. Use- he couldn't use his name. Oh, right? yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Jesus. Yeah. He made his own symbol. The dude was b- way name. before his time. Like yeah. I, 30 years before. I remember, time. like, when he when he passed, like, they were talking about, like, bro, we have, like, 200 albums worth of, yeah. un, like, music Jesus. in his vault that he, that we, like, we don't know what to do with. Right. Like, there's so much, and that's like, like albums back, backlog. That's, like, albums of stuff. Albums. Albums <laughs> worth. <laughs> yeah, imagine how many songs that is, you know? That's, like, a lifetime of music. Yeah, mm-hmm. and they released, they've been releasing, like, a lot of music. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna yeah. give him a listen. I listen to a few songs, but, like, I'm not Bro, totally just, like, up to date on them. You gotta start mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? You gotta start. Watch um, his growth. Yeah. What was it? What was his first album called? Ah, but yeah, I'm showing my age. <laughs> I mean, I mean, there, I guess. Yeah, there's some like, <laughs> I mean, there's some muscle. Yeah. Like, obviously, you got to listen to the Purple Rain. A lot of his. Oh yeah, a lot of his like. That's just pop stuff. Yeah, you know, like I'll, 1999, Purple Rain, mm-hmm. uh, Parade starts like veering off mm-hmm. a little bit, but um, yeah, definitely take his e- easy to tie de- to digest stuff. Yeah, and then go back in the back pe- catalog, listen mm-hmm. to Controversy and all yeah. that stuff. It's so good. I will say, Michael and Prince. Both could like appeal to like every demographic though, because I know Michael got along with like the rockers, mm-hmm. and but I don't know about jazz so much, but mm-hmm. well, that man could fit Prince, in. Prince was yeah, R and B and soul. Yeah. yeah, he was more funk when he first came out, like James Brown or oh yeah, like James, Rick James, James, James yeah. you know what I Rick mean? James, like, they were yeah. More, like, you want to talk about heat, Rick James. Rick James. Right, Rick James. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> God. <laughs> Come on, what's that little man going to do? <laughs> How tall was he, Prince? He's like four foot nine. Oh, he's like four foot nine. He ain't going to do nothing to me. Prince, 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 <laughs> Prince, Prince, like, Prince is like five, 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 yeah. five Yeah. Five yeah. Like, yeah. Well, I remember, I remember putting his feet on the couch. How tall was Prince? I remember telling stories at school. I think Prince was like like five five or five six. No, 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 no. He was shorter? He was five two. He was my height. Oh, all right. Prince was my height. What? Shout out Short Kings. Short Kings. Short Kings. Stand up. That's, I mean, high key why he's such an influence, man. Yeah, uh, that's cool, yeah. man. He was, uh, they tell a story, Rick James, uh, when he met him, like at a club, because they wanted uh, Prince and like his whole band to open up for Rick James on the tour. Mm-hmm. And like, they were looking around, they're like, yeah, he's around here somewhere. And they're like, where is, where is he at? He's like, no, he's right over there. And he's like, I can't see him. And then oh. they, look, they look down oh. and they see him. Mm. They're like, oh, there he is. God, the short <laughs> we almost lost slander. You. Yeah. No, you did the pick up for everyone who didn't see him. <laughs> <laughs> Felix just did the pick up a baby motion. Bro, and hey, bro, describe I, friends. Look, look, I can, look, as a, as a fellow short, short, <laughs> fellow person, short king. Fellow short king. Oh yeah. I feel you. Well, we're supposed to be talking about wrestling, but that was cool. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wrestling. Hey, wrestling. Uh, basically, this is the part two to our first part. Uh, we're recapping what happened in 2020 and looking forward to 2021. 
Ooh, big how things, soothing. guys. Big things. Big things. Uh, 2020. I mean, we kind of went over the end of 2020 on the last episode. I'm not going to lie. I did a listen back. I, I yeah. haven't heard anything. Yeah. That's all good. I just it's listened fine. to <laughs> my <laughs> podcast. <laughs> yeah, I feel you. I listen to it too much, even. That's not good. That's like a ego thing, maybe. I like hearing my own voice sometimes. That's an ego. Clearly. That, that, <laughs> yeah, that makes that makes one of us. No, no. You guys, don't like, hearing, you guys don't like hearing your voice? God, back? no. No. <laughs> no, I mean, I'll go back and listen to stuff. Like, I listen. I, I really like this podcast, actually. Yeah, I thank like you. Hey, yeah, thank you. No problem. Appreciate I definitely, that. I know I just joked around, but, like, I definitely like to go back and listen to, like, the students. And, like, mm-hmm. they're just starting. I think that's very interesting. I yeah. like listening to, like, Zach or Steve-O. Or, yeah, those are know. really good. Those last, like, though we had, like, a four, five episode run where it was just, like, banger, 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 banger. We really did. Yeah. Yeah, hey, yeah. there was a, uh, a lot of good talkers. Oh, right. Lawrence. Lawrence was a really oh, good one. Oh, dude, that, that one guy popped. has some stories, man. Yeah. yeah. Lawrence. He's been around. We got to get dude. him back. Yeah, yeah I definitely got to get Lawrence back. back. Get Zach back. Zach back again. Uh, that was a yeah. really fun episode. Mm-hmm. I, that's when I was just getting to know Zach. I feel like I know him My a favorite episode more. is Evil Wild. That's my favorite. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. my favorite episode. Is it? I don't know about you guys. Oh, it really God. is. It was great. Bro. <laughs> I was like, yes. That was a lot of. Yes, kill him. <laughs> yeah, there was a lot of tension. Ava, Ava, Ava just shook down Prima the whole time. <laughs> yeah. I just <laughs> had a real name. I didn't say her shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's fine. Edit that out and post. Edit out. Edit out. But, uh, how about edit, edit this in? Evil Wild. wild. Just like that. There you go. <laughs> so yeah, that happened, so bro, that, hap- that happened at the sh- that happened at the sh- at the, sh- the last show. Oh, uh, no. Keanu called her by her street name like, oh. one time, and I was just like, he said it low, so like no one picked up on it. But I was just like, oh no. Anyway, there goes Ava. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, what's gonna happen? I'm gonna, I'm gonna get heat. Whatever. Yeah. I, don't, yeah. I don't care about no heat. True that. True that. Prince um, no one ever cared about no heat. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that episode was crazy because uh, she was just shooting darts at me that whole time. Mm-hmm. It was just constant eye contact. Keeping I kept looking away. Toes, man. So I sat, that's why I sat over there. Toes. Maybe really uncomfortable to even listen to. Yeah, I uh, I get bad short, memories. Though, right? yeah. yeah, I cut it short. Yeah, yeah we cut it short. That's, that's enough. <laughs> I cut scared. it short. I'm scared. Yeah, you couldn't handle it. You couldn't handle it. I mean, it's a whole lot of women. You know, so it I is. Mean, it really is. It's for, okay. Yeah, for those who haven't seen her, you know. Some people, you know, they get intimidated by big, strong women. <laughs> Prince doesn't. Prince don't, Prince you know. Don't. <laughs> I, don't, I love big, small. Medium, we love them know, all, baby. Person. Yeah, I don't, I don't care, man. I'm a, you know, as we a pansexual all. man. I don't care. There you go. Hey, you love to see it, baby. You love to see it. But anyway, it. yeah. Nah, I wish we had a camera for that. Um, because, <laughs> my God, you guys would have seen how uncomfortable I felt. Uh, just being stared at and being just, just demolished the whole time. On my own podcast. That primo, I want you, and I need you. <laughs> now we can do this the easy way or the hard way. It's it's between you. It was the hard way the whole time. It, <laughs> it was, was the hard way, way the whole time. <laughs> oh God! And then she talked about going for the social media belt. That'd be cool. Maybe something to look forward to if it ever happens. Uh, Twenty one. I can see that. Line. Yeah, I w- would not be surprised. Um, hopefully, I don't ever meet her in the ring because I don't want to die. Yeah, that'd be interesting. She just goes like on a tirade and just gets all the belts right you know as bad of a person Ambition, right yeah, yeah as bad as a person she is you know to me um i would love to see her well, i just like to see killers in the ring man. yeah I she like, she I is like a killer dude she, she's definitely a natural she's she's got that uh that presence yeah there you go. she was thrown around uh when she won the title she was throwing jasmine around okay first of all first of all hold on let me defend my homegirl here yeah <laughs> uh she had been on tour oh, for the true. past three weeks true that she was malnourished all right and honestly, she had a war before, you know, and I think it was GCWA name drop. Uh, Oof. They're doing some Shout good out. things down there in uh, Corpus Christi. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'm just saying, I, I just, not I'm saying that it's a fluke, but, you know, Ooh. Jasmine, it, there's, she she can do a whole lot better. And this wasn't, yeah, this wasn't her best performance, but because of lack of sleep, lack of nutrition, lack of everything, and it, that's the reason. I think if they got in the ring again, It'd run circles around her, man. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, hey. oh yeah. You laying down the challenge? Oh floor? yeah. I'm talking. It's like Rocky Three. I'm saying it's Rocky Three, <laughs> man. So I would love to see that, man. Uh, you know, our last two champions, Vert and Jasmine. I think that would be. Who knows? Maybe even a triple threat. I think that'd be cool. I mean, it'd be dope, right? Yeah. Um, putting on fantasy bookers hats. And <laughs> right, yes, sir. I mean, I'm, on, I'm giving y'all the ball here. You're really you're right. GEW 2013. Um, yeah, let's go. Hey, but I mean, maybe Jasmine can look at it on an upside because uh, we all know. I mean, the news is broken. Right? She's on AW Dark, man. Like that. What a jump. Like that. But I mean, totally deserving. I hope. I think we called it on that episode we had with her saying that she was going to be somewhere by the end of this year, maybe. 
Did we say that? I wouldn't doubt it. Yeah, dude, like, talk about a natural. I know we talked about it before. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. No, go yeah. ahead. I was listening. Um, yeah, that gauntlet match that she had when she graduated. Yep. The fact that she went through, how many people was it? It was like 30 or 20 people? 20, yeah. It was like yeah. the higher end of 20. <laughs> Dude. On yeah, the let's just go end, ahead and talk about the gang initiation that we yeah. have to do. Yeah. It's, yeah. yeah, I mean... Dude, Still she like to was. Go back and look at uh, at Greenbacks. Yeah, oh, I wish someone Poor recorded guy. that. <laughs> Poor guy. His uh, his little quick encounter with T Ray was <laughs> brutal. Lord, <laughs> yes. very uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, if you want to be a pro wrestler, join. A- <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it's great stuff. No, That's absolutely, <laughs> honestly. But yeah, Jasmine, dude, got to like literally the last person, and she turned around and smiled at everyone. Did not look tired at all. Because before that, I'd seen everyone. Basically, look somewhat gassed. She did not look gassed at all. No, she was eating it up the whole time. Yes. She was loving it. Yeah, talk about a natural man. Did y'all, did y'all get paid by Jasmine to? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, she, she gave me a crisp high five. That's cool. <laughs> One crispy high five. Uh huh. Serving it up. But yeah, is it, is it high, five also, high five? Yeah, on the topic of uh, mm-hmm. AAP and graduates oh, yeah. on AEW Dark, Vert Vixen. Vert Vixen. Uh, <laughs> I'm so yeah. happy. Shout yeah, out. I'm Shout so happy. Out. Talk about it. Yeah. Do you do up, so it's funny. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I laughed and then I stopped because everyone else stopped. <laughs> I laughed. I laughed and then stopped. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I have never God, been so scared gonna, in my life. She's going to beat me up yeah, so gonna... much when she hears God. this back. Oh, my when God. She hears, she's going to fucking kill me. I, I, laughed, <laughs> I laughed and then stopped because everyone looked so serious. And I was like, wait. Oh, God. I just... I'm, Look, <laughs> I'm a comedy king, all right? I'm a king of comedy, all right? I'm up there with Oh, Matt. God, more like scare tactic. Jesus I know. No, Christ. Uh, yeah, man. You're telling me we just watched her and Ty Conti last night. That was mm-hmm. good. Oh, man. I had, yeah. I'm had. i so happy people get to see. My favorite move of hers is the slide into the corner mm-hmm. and then the kick. Oh, my God. I'm so happy. And I was on Twitter after that. So many people <laughs> were talking about that move and it's gift everywhere. Oh, yeah, man. I was so She's happy to dope. see that. She's dope. I was so happy to see that. Saying that you made it, you got you to get for yourself now. So it. <laughs> right. It's a cool. Uh, that's a that's a cool move, man. It is. I I jump for that move every single time. You like Pop. ACH? Or? I do like ACH. Okay, there you go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I have a mark. I told, that, <laughs> I told that story a million times. The whole what ACH story? about how I got back into pro wrestling, like liking it. I didn't hear this story. Oh really? Oh well, it has to do with your buddy ACH. Okay, Name drop. <laughs> um, so after CM Punk was getting brutalized, you know, in WWE, yeah. I kind of quit watching for a little bit. It was like 2012, 2013. Yes. Okay. Yes, and then right. And then I started watching, like for whatever reason, Botchamania got recommended on my YouTube. Yeah, yeah. I started watching it, and then I think I saw Kenny Omega. It wasn't a botch, but it was like a funny spot between him and ACH. And I was like, I, I like looked through the comments and like people were like timestamping it. And I was like, let me go look up Kenny Omega versus ACH. Right. And it was the one in PWG, the PWG where they did the, where he put on the vest. Yes. And the stone cold. Uh, and the yes. And then, <laughs> and so then I was like, dude, that is so cool. Like that's so cool. And then I looked up Kenny Omega versus ACH again. And then I saw their ring of honor one where it was Kenny Omega and the young bucks versus ACH, Matt Seidel and Kushida. Yeah, man. And that got me back into wrestling. I, yes. That's I started dope, watching man. all the time. I that's, hope he hears this, man. Yeah, I hope so too. That's I said actually it, that's similar to how I got, I got back into wrestling too. It was like yep. through, through like YouTube and stuff. Mm-hmm. It was, um, cause I had stopped cause I started playing through the, I started liking wrestling through the video games. Ooh. Um, cause my cousin had, that's interesting. my cousin had, here comes the pain. Oh, yeah. yeah. obviously your mouth. <laughs> yeah. 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 here comes the pain goaded, goaded wrestling game. But, um, so that's how I started. I started watching wrestling afterwards through there. Once I got into the games and I took a break for a while and I came back just cause like, um, it was, I think it was around the pipe bomb. The same yeah. pipe, pipe bomb. It was I around then. Yeah. So I was like going through and looking at, at, stuff figured that stuff and uh some of the indie stuff started coming up on my recommended yeah and it was the uh raid of voladoras 2009 chikara event it was one of the qualifying matches it was jigsaw kota ibushi nick jackson and el generico wow that is stacked there's 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 a there's just watch that there's a there's like a two minute sequence of just generico and ibushi just going at it and i and like i had no idea wrestling could be like that yeah and so i was like there you know there there are these dudes going out here just Man. Literally killing it. And I thought the same thing when I saw CZW. Like CZW's crazy. Okay, yeah. Might be showing my age. Not that I'm that <laughs> old, but like when YouTube first dropped, mm-hmm. yeah. Like one of the first things like on YouTube was like 
uh, indie wrestling. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, like CZW was on there. Ring of Honor was on there. Ooh, Sandig. Nice yeah, and they had like a bunch of clips and highlights. And I saw mm-hmm. uh, Sick Nick Mondo. Oh, wow. <laughs> and, but like when he was wrestling and doing stuff, yeah, I was like, yeah. what, what the heck is he doing? <laughs> I've never seen wrestling like this before. No, yeah. yeah. Like some of that early, early mid 2000s CZW stuff is crazy. It's crazy, dude. Zandig is a. Mm-hmm. God oh, bless his soul. Goodness, <laughs> yeah, man. and not even like some of the death matches, like some of the straight up like wrestling, yeah, the wrestling stuff they would do was, was just like, like oh my god. And then like I had trailblazing. <laughs> I had a Tumblr. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't we all? Yeah, we had Did a we Tumblr. All? And then uh, on Tumblr they had a bunch of Kevin Steen gifts. Oh. And yeah, and I just Kevin remember Steen like cool. yeah, and I'm like whoa, this guy's yeah. doing moon salts, and he's like you know. Yeah, it was like up from a WWF to a WWE kid. It was yeah, just like, oh, same. I had no idea. I did, bro, like I was so in WWE before I like started watching everything else. I had no idea WCW was a thing. I didn't know what NWO was. Right. Um, I didn't know about Ring of Honor. I didn't. I knew TNA, and I only knew AJ Styles because he did the. I think it's called the Spiral Tap. I saw uh-huh. that, and I was like, uh-huh. that's cool. But that's all I knew. Dude, I discovered AJ and TNA when Jeff Hardy left WWE. I think, yeah. 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 I think that's like 2003, 2004. And then, like, I was like, my favorite wrestler is <laughs> What is he doing now? And I just remember, like, going to the <laughs> library and looking up, like, j- like type in Jeff Hardy and yeah. like, see what he's doing. Yeah. And then uh, TNA just moved to, like, Cable. Mm-hmm. And that's oh, where I yeah. saw him and uh, AJ mix it up. And yeah. then, like, Randy Savage came out. Yep. I was like, this is so weird. It, it was. <laughs> It was weird seeing a bunch of the older guys wrestling. Yeah. Not that I have a problem with that. Yeah. But like, but it's, I, it's, it feels weird because it's like, I thought you were done. Right. Yeah. You, you, it's like you pop the, you know, like your brain is like when you do psychedelics for the first time, you're like, <laughs> wait, there's more oh, than just are, WWE. Are we on the Joe Rogan podcast now? Right. Yes, sir. <laughs> Jamie, DMT. Jamie, can you look this up for me, Jamie? See what year. Jamie, uh, can you pass me that DMT over there real quick? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Awesome. Uh, Anyway, let's circle back to AAPW, right? <laughs> We're already That's pretty, barking out. I'm like yeah. the Jamie of AAPW. Yeah, you yeah. are the Jamie of Hey, Jamie, hey, Jamie show, me the, show me the video of that deer getting hit by that car real quick. <laughs> and he was ferocious. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever heard of elk? Do you know how good elk meat is? Dude, I put I jalapenos want, in it. I want elk so bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, I kind of do. It sounds, it sounds it juicy. Yeah. <laughs> oh uh, back to AAPW. We are in review. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Uh, I mean... I mean, we basically kind of just, well, we tried to recap the last show, basically. But, um, yeah, looking forward to 2021. Mm-hmm. Who's um, y'all's picks for 2021? Ooh. I, mm. as in, like, like who's going to pop off? Yeah. Zach Rather Taylor. that be an AAPW, or do you, do you see somebody, you know, break breaking the proverbial glass ceiling and, mm-hmm. you know, I would, spreading their wings? and I would and very flying. much like to see one or both uh, Vert and Jasmine. Mm. Uh, Sign, sign that TV. Oh, that's yeah, baby. Whew, that's, I wish I could talk about it. Yeah, I can see it. I can see that. Honestly, I wish I could talk about it. They just like don't, don't don't say what you can. Yeah. <laughs> we, we know. We well, know. we'll we talk about it after yeah, after the yeah. podcast is over. I don't want to spoil nothing. But, yeah, yeah. You know. to, to, just to keep stroking their ego. I mean, like when they're on TV, it, it's crazy because like they I see them here, and obviously they've worked other places. Mm-hmm. But it's like you see them here, and well, like, like, let's be real. Like we're not some big mega company, mega production right. set going on. And then you see them like on professional television and like they work the camera nice. They're, they're natural, they do. And their positioning really is good. Yeah. Their positioning is good. And it looks like they know, like they know what they're doing. Like it looks like it. Mm-hmm. And then you go on Twitter and you see everyone's reactions towards them. And it's like, sign them, sign them, sign them, sign them. They're going to be the future. They're going to be the future. Mm-hmm. And it's like, that is crazy that I got to like share, like be in the same like building with those That's two. Awesome, man. It's really like cool. On, on a casual level. I, I understand what you mean. Yeah. Like, no, the, I, re- that, I mean, I can't speak for them. But you have no idea what your words just meant to me just now. Yeah, you know what I mean? Somebody that, that's been with them since the beginning mm-hmm. and just see how, like, how hard they work yeah. and how much they sacrifice. Mm-hmm. It's, it's a beautiful thing. And it's, this is just the beginning. Like, yeah. It, it gives hope, man. Yeah. I can say that. 100%. I'm a really, I'm a cynical bastard. <laughs> so it's mm-hmm. like, oh, you, you got AEW dark. Okay. So you, you squashed <laughs> out. Okay. Here's your yeah. money. And there you go. Right. You got to be grounded though. Yeah. That's just mm-hmm. where I am. But at the same time, like I knew this experience for them was, uh, they're going to learn so much. Yeah. They're networking. That is crazy. You man. know, and it, it it's not like they're not going to come back. You know what yeah. I mean? So for it's sure. like, for sure. And especially for Vert too, like as, as the guy that's, 
<laughs> you know, the little devil on her shoulder yeah. being like, why did you do that? Yeah. <laughs> or like, that sucked. <laughs> Get up. Yeah. <laughs> Blow yourself up. <laughs> you know what I mean? uh, it's, it's so cool, man. Yeah, mm-hmm. man. So. I, like, I, I haven't been here in the last few weeks for my own reasons, but I can say like watching them, seeing the news, like seeing it break, mm-hmm. watching them being announced for AW Dark, dude, like my heart just shot up. That I was, was like, that's pretty sick. Like I, I couldn't even like, it's happening to me again. Like my heart starts beating fast and it's like hard to breathe. I'm like, that is oh so God. crazy. Like that, that's how like happy I am. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I've missed wrestling a lot. Dude, I don't. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I miss wrestling a lot. If you, you can't need a fanny or something. <laughs> yeah. You all right, dude? Sure. Uh, you want me to not. get her autograph for you? Or <laughs> I think it's I can do that for you. We'll get you a selfie after the next yeah, time, man. Something. Just, I'll mm-hmm. tell her, like, hey, man, you mind helping this make a kid? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. But um, it's just like, for me, I keep looking at it. I get super sentimental about things mm-hmm. because for me, it's like, I got to, I watched them do the same drills that I do and like they made it there. It's like, yeah, like we can do it. Yeah. Like everyone here, like if you really apply yourself, mm-hmm. you can do it. it. And I'm so happy for them that yeah. they did that. Cause, Cause not only for yeah. them, but it, it helps all of us too. Seriously, man. I yeah. definitely think it's, it is hard to kind of like conceptualize, uh, or kind of like watching everything kind of come together, I guess. Yeah. It's so crazy. But, but kind of seeing someone who's walked a similar path, yeah. uh, be able to succeed and stuff like that. And it's like, yeah. okay, you know, there, there, there's, there is something to gain from this. There is what I've done. I'm not just, you know, banging my head against the wall, for, hoping, for, hoping for something different right. to happen. Yeah. You know? But I mean, obviously it's not that easy. Oh no. We all, we all know that yeah. they do a crap ton of stuff, you know, outside of just what we're told to do here, like mm-hmm. during class time. Mm-hmm. But I mean, they just proved like, if you really want it, like you'll get it yeah. and you'll do whatever it takes to get it. And it's, it's so cool wow. knowing that they came from the school, man. Like it, it really is cool. I'm gonna blow your mind when I tell you Ricky Starks came from. The he did. <laughs> I was like, I was. <laughs> What's that say? AC8 went to this school. Oh man. Dude. Yeah, <laughs> but like it's crazy because I don't. Paul London went to the school, boys. Come yeah. on. Guys. But I haven't seen them though. <laughs> I haven't seen them like that. But I got to see when I first started training. I got to see Vert and Jasmine doing their thing. Right. You know, as every trainees. class group, yeah. as trainees, exactly. and I got to see them go do their graduation, man. Mm-hmm. Like. God, it, it's it's so cool. It's just so cool to witness all this, mm-hmm. and it, it must be cool for you too, being a part of it too. I mean, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I mean, no, it's and like I told you before, man, it's a trip. And like, she's coming to me for advice, and I'm like, I I can only tell you how I see it, and mm-hmm. she follows it, and you know, yeah. And not for nothing, but we have like elders <laughs> in yeah. the business that look out for us, and That's they're nice. like right next door, and we're just like. Hey, we need advice. What's up? And yeah. thankfully, you know, they give it to us. God, that's so cool, man. Well, is... Just be a good person. That's all. Yeah. At the core of it is you can have all the tools and you can do all the drills. You can be the best bumper. But if you're not a good person, it's going to come around to you in the end. And mm-hmm. fortunately, Jasmine, uh, Alicia, I'll even throw Maddie in there, too. Like, yeah. She's, yeah, shout, shout out to Maddie. Yeah, not she's A-A-P-W, from San Jose. She's not APW, but, yeah. but you know, like, good on her I remember when she yeah. was first starting out, you know, because... I, I, I'm a mark for Texas wrestling yeah. and like uh-huh. not just you guys, but like other schools, I, I like to see who's, who's coming in, who's, yeah. who's going to be here for a minute, you know? Cause yeah. like I'm going to mingle with them and if they're good, I would want to work them. Yeah. 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 You know, so that way I'll get better. But mm-hmm. yeah, like the past few weeks of like training with them at the dog pound, uh, Maddie would be in the ring doing something and I'd, I would watch and be like, oh, okay. Like, it would help me out, wow. you know? So, yeah, like, she's she's right there with them, too. And, you know, the sky's the limit. Yeah. God, man. It, it, yeah. Like, wrestling is really a beacon of hope, man. Like, seeing that, that is, it's so just warming. And, yeah. And just, like, it's, it's just so cool to see. It's one mm-hmm. language, man. Yeah. It, it really is. <laughs> now yeah. we're really turning into the gym. Yeah. Right? yeah. <laughs> But seriously, it's the why you can go to Mexico and not speak Spanish and wrestle there. You know what I mean? Or yeah. Japan and yeah. not speak Japanese or anywhere in the world and still know what you're doing if you know what you're doing and doing it well. So I, I think it's dope. But yeah, yeah. okay. So yeah, shout Burton, out to Bert. Uh, Jasmine. Zach Taylor. Breakout stars. Breakout stars. Zach Taylor, my, my boy. Yeah, my vote's Zach Taylor. Uh, obviously, you know, he just got the social media championship and I have the honor of being his cameraman right now. Mm-hmm. So... Uh, I'd be stupid not to vote him, but I mean, <laughs> but obviously, I mean, he's paying you. <laughs> yeah, he gets well, your you spots, know. man. He gets yeah. dinner time. Paying, paying me is a very oh, big Lord. understanding. <laughs> yeah, hot dog uh, music. Uh, not care for kayfabe anymore. <laughs> he, gives me, dead. he gives me. He gives me a kayfabe. Really dead. <laughs> He just he just lets me get so close and he lets me observe. That's all. Go, he he talks about following in his footsteps. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm observing. I get to be up close and in the action. 
I get to learn. That's you know, the, yeah, uh, though that's that's the best currency. education. Yeah, to knowledge be is right currency. there in like ringside, or mm-hmm. you know, a lot of people, and I've told this to a few people here. Um, yeah, and I don't know if they get offended or not. The <laughs> um, refereeing. Yeah, that's like, dude, if you can ref for like the first year while you're training, mm-hmm. that is the best education before you even step foot into like gear and like start yeah. working matches. Yeah, you're right there. Like you're, you're watching there, the match unfold, but you're, like before your the, eyes. You're seeing the boys, you're, you're listening to the crowd, and mm-hmm. like that's your front row. That's the best seat in the house. Honestly, and don't also, take it as not for nothing. You're part of the match. Yeah, you're a yeah, part really. Of the match. You're Honestly, the yeah. yeah, you're like you're the anchor of the match. So if you're a good ref. You nine times out of ten, you transition to being a wrestler. I, I think you would have a good Lawrence for sure. We should, yeah, Lawrence breakout star of the year. My yeah, God, yeah. he ended twenty twenty strong. That. Did you? I don't know if you saw the last show um, we had. Um, that man was getting chanted the whole show, the entire show. The show ended. You know, cameras yeah. off, lights are back on. You know, full light, full lightage, whatever you call it. Um, we don't have any more glowing lights. Uh, Lawrence comes out the curtain and still got cheered by everyone while they were leaving. Yeah, man. They turned around, looked at Lawrence, and cheered for Lawrence. Oh, he's over. Mm-hmm. He's over, over. Lawrence is Lawrence is, is going to be on a tear, man. Come twenty twenty one, I really. It, it was so cool seeing him get his uh, match against T Roy. Yeah, man. That was for that sure. was a good moment of twenty twenty. Just to look back on that. Um, no, I, I definitely agree. And then just to see, I've known him since I first started as a, mm-hmm. like a ref. Yeah. Because he was refing other shows that I would go to and stuff. So just to see him have, one, have fun and just fulfill his dream of being a wrestler. Like, yeah. As a friend, I'm like, heck yeah. You know, it's, it's so mm-hmm. cool, man. Yeah. Um, let's see, Zach, uh, CJC. That man ended 2020 strong with a win over uh, Steve-O. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm really liking his uh, his work in the ring. Yeah. That, all that submission stuff is it's really cool. He's, yeah. he's, he's maniacal. You know, all that submission. Stuff, <laughs> I like it. What do well, you no, know about it's wrestling? Uh, <laughs> it's Nerd. very, very different than what we've been seeing. In yeah. The last few months. Oh, legit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he's very maniacal in the way he goes yeah. about people or go about his uh, moves. I mean, he picks apart a body, a body part that he wants to go for, and he goes for it. Like yeah, he does you don't not really care. See that too much nowadays. Sad. Like a lot of people talk about that. Like mm-hmm. they want to be that. But. Right. But he, yeah, he definitely, he definitely, yeah, he definitely head does it. Head yeah. first, he goes for it. For sure, I can't wait. Yeah, to see more notches under his belt and see where he goes, man. Mm-hmm. Another pretty. There's impressive. a lot of people here. Yeah, yeah, I'm t- yeah man. Twenty twenty one, Alberto. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah. Very nice, yeah. Nice, yeah. Pants. Very nice, nice pants. Very nice pants. pants. I will say. <laughs> um, oh man, he has that. Um, I wish I knew the technical term of it, where he jumps into the corner and comes off the second rope with the elbow, standing elbow. I imagine springboard. springboard elbow. Uh, he makes it look so smooth, though. He makes it look so smooth. And it was a nice spot. I got yeah. like calling calling that at the at the last show was was pretty dope. I wasn't ready for it. Like he just popped it out. I was like, oh hey, yeah, yeah. that's pretty nice. Gotcha. <laughs> he's gonna be he's gonna be good. A good one to look out for. Um, yeah, there's a lot of cats here, man. Yeah. Or, um, and then we already hungry. So. Yeah. We touched about Ava already. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Freaking bad person. I hate her guts. Anyways, <laughs> next person. Well, just, yeah, <laughs> wow. I would like to honestly. Yeah, I'll, I would just I'll, like to see her work. Uh, more people. Yeah, you know she's I gonna be a problem. Man. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna get in trouble with saying this. Uh, Exclusive. Texas, um, Texas. I hate saying women's wrestling. Yeah, because mm-hmm. I feel like it just puts them in a box. Yeah, you know? it separates yeah. them from like yeah, the whole thing. Man, mm-hmm. I want to see her work. Men. Yeah, I, see her I would work. be so down for people that. beyond the binary. You know what I mean? Yeah, I want to see. Yeah, I want to see her work. Everybody. She, That's I the only way you get good. Yeah, you know, I feel like if there was more intergender wrestling, mm-hmm. um, and we just, you know, I feel like that's a dirty word to some yeah. people. Mm-hmm. Like, it, we were just we're just limiting our female talent. You yeah, know? like, and I I think Texas women wrestling. Ugh, I hate saying that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, it's because I view them as wrestlers, right? Mm-hmm. Let right. me just put on my salsa. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah, no, we I'm, get you. I'm, t- I'm towing a line here, right? right. But yeah. I, I just, I feel like they should work more people, you know, more they, quality they people. If, like, we were talking about Jasmine and Vert, they've already had a match like 20 different times already. Yeah. Right? And then uh, Maddie, too. So it's mm-hmm. like, Nick, let them mix up with the JoJo bra or no JoJo J Serious. J Serious. You know I mean? Yeah, they J Serious. Oh man, or a Scotty I can only... Santiago or a T Ray or you know, yeah. or Prince Adam or or a me. You know, not that I'm there or anything, but you know, that's you I, know. I, could... I, I would like to see that. I would like to see the powers that be bringing people for Ava. 
Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I can only imagine just her going against like someone like Steve-O. Yeah, man. That would be, that would be amazing. Just to watch a powerhouse and a technician I mean, go at it. not for nothing. I, I don't want to get too behind baseball or anything, but like these guys that we're talking about are pretty new, right? And yeah. They are pretty green. So like mm-hmm. that, it, it's one thing to mix it up with people here. You know, but it's the small pond, you know? Yeah. Like, let's let's bring in some big fish and let's, yeah. let's see what they can do, you know? Yeah. And then I, I, not that nobody else would benefit from it, but I think she would, she would benefit. 100%. A lot from it. She, yeah. I, I totally agree. I, yeah. She'd be able to hang with, I, I feel like a few people, if, if given the chance, yeah. I feel like she'd swim right. instead of swimming. Yeah. yeah, I feel like a lot of people would too, like a CJC. Like, let's, yeah. let's put in with some, like a Scotty or an Aaron Mercer. Ooh, or like yeah. a, an Aaron Mercer. And, and, yeah, right. and that's really the only way you're, they're, they're, you're going to know and they're going to grow from that is right. like yeah. in that situation. I, I, will, I mean, even like, I know Zach has, I, He's known around the area, you know mm-hmm. what I mean, and especially in Texas. I want to see him. I want to see let's him. Let's bring a will all day. Let's yeah. see. Let's see what he does against all day. Oh, let's see what he does God. against Hopkins or Steve-O versus Chandler Hopkins. You know? Yeah, I've seen that match Fireworks. before, but I want to see it here. You know, yeah. let's, let's, Texas is so big and it's so full of talent. Let's bring in let's Gino versus, oh. uh, Lu, you know, Lu, what's his work name? <laughs> Alberto Reyes. Alberto Reyes. Yeah, let's bring yeah. it. It's a real I almost called it. Shoot, yeah, <laughs> it almost took me a second. <laughs> yeah, uh, man. You know what I mean? Let's do stuff. Texas is thriving. Yeah. And wrestling so you know, I think the, it. I don't have to speak for the powers that be, but I, I really think that they're, there's a lot of big plans for 2021. So Yeah. I believe it. Especially for here. So oh, yeah. It's, uh, Moving forward let's, to let's, let's just, let's, you know, hope and pray that those plans come to fruition, which I, I really do think that they are. So, yeah. Um, yeah, man, I just, uh, man, I'm just marking out myself. <laughs> thinking about all the <laughs> no, matchups. We all, we all do. It's all good. It's, it's easy to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But on that note, I mean, you know, speaking of some newer guys being green, uh, we have, you know, people on the come up that are getting ready to, you know, want to get on the show. People are dying, chomping mm-hmm. at the bit to get on. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, that's what you get when you come here to AAPW, man. I mean, mm-hmm. you, well, one, you should be hungry if you come here. Because mm-hmm. if you're not going to be hungry, yeah. then you're going to be gone within a yeah, month. It's, it's, like, up wow, it's like 40 degrees out there right now. Yeah, like you got to want it. For working, you know? So you yeah. have to want it. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, on that note, little advertisement. Come join AAPW. I mean, yeah, man, new you, class is coming up, Jen. Yeah, new I, class. I need, yeah. I need Our I, boy Felix is going to be I in know, that. I need classmates. Keep behind the curtain. For all the, I know, I don't know if you guys want to drop it, but for all the COVID 19 people, it's pretty like. We sanitize the ring. Absolutely. We have masks. Every single day. Social, you know, it's yep, it's right well now, ventilated. It's, you know what I mean? So, like, it's it's pretty safe here. We take care of our own. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, I mean, it's... Uh, if you're in the Austin area and uh, you want to learn how to wrestle, man, come on. And definitely, Please come on down. Definitely like, looking forward to it. Every 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 week I come here, I look yeah. I look at the ring and I just start, like, salivating. Yeah, sure. Absolutely. I just want to get in. Yeah. We're, we're a loving place. Uh, I've only got... Experience. Uh, five more days. Of, uh, pearls of wisdom to go around. I right hope so. <laughs> I, <laughs> yeah. I tell people I have no idea what the heck I'm talking about. I just <laughs> regurgitate things that are said around me in locker rooms or in group chats or anything. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, come on down. I mean, we're really accepting for for God's sakes. I mean, the guy that owns this place is um, he's gay. <laughs> He's Jewish. He's what? He's Mexican. <laughs> he's the gay community. <laughs> he's gay. He's Jewish. He's colorblind. He's Mexican. He's colorblind. He is colorblind. Did you know that? I don't understand like how that fits into you know. It's just that he's a man. Area. He's a man of he's, many things. He's a man. He's a man. <laughs> he's a he's a character. He's a man that doesn't see colors. He does not the way that they're supposed to be. <laughs> Shout out, man! Twenty twenty one, twenty twenty one, all those things. I mean, I'm I'm excited not just for APW, but just for you know wrestling in general. The wrestling in general. Man, yeah, I'm excited to see like what you're gonna do when it when it comes back oh, a few months from now. <laughs> it'll, be, it. yeah. it'll be fun. Ah, <laughs> oh, snap! <laughs> oh man! But yeah, yeah uh, shout out to twenty twenty for being a bad year for the world, but you know, surprisingly, like a good year for wrestling. Like we had a lot of wrestlers come out and shine this year throughout the whole things yeah like throughout the whole thing despite everything i i have a weird i might catch heat for it but i i th- i really think no show should have happened in, i don't blame you in 2020 yeah. I, I feel like every, even Probably. like with my i was yeah, talking to Bert, and i was like i this is there's like two matches that i've had in 2020 that meant something to me yeah and like i can I probably had a handful of matches since the pandemic and stuff. Mm-hmm. And I, I, I ate away at me cause I'm like, man, people are working and I'm not, you know, yeah. but at the same time, I'm like, you know what? It's a pandemic. It's a, yeah. 
it's a pandemic. I'm okay. Yeah, <laughs> I'll yeah. be all right. It's something that this, well, at least everyone in the world right now has not experienced. I don't feel yeah, right. I like, haven't lost any followers. Not yeah. that, you know, I care about social media or anything. It's like, all a part of being a wrestler. I've gained followers yeah. and without working as much, you know? Yeah. So it's like, I must be doing something right. I don't mm-hmm. know. But, you know, 2021, that's the that's the comeback year for it's everybody. The beacon so. year. Yep. The Could beacon you, year. As we hope. I, I think... Like late summer, that's when everything, everything will be cool. Yeah, yeah. I sure hope so, the, let, let the vaccines get out. Let give, the give it a couple more out. months. Let's yeah. air it out. You know, let's uh, make sure we're all good to go here. And, yeah, uh, across everybody plays by the rules between for, now and then. For sure. Yeah. Like, like I that's so. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like that's kind of like my mentality. Like yeah. assuming everything goes right. Yeah, by the right. time everything fully dies down, I'll hopefully be at a point where I can. Yeah, go out and do yourself. it. Yeah, for sure. we'll see. You yeah. know, and yeah. summer's a good time for wrestling. Anyways, it's always a good time for wrestling. Oh yeah, a good year or a good time period. For yeah, well, usually it's around like March. That's when the tax checks <laughs> yeah. come in. Yeah, people that. are like, let's put on the show. <laughs> you know, but um, <laughs> but yeah. yeah, definitely summertime. That's the marquee, man. And I'm hoping everything be full swing. Um, yeah. Yeah, 2020 was 20. weird, guys, wasn't it? <laughs> it really was. The fact I, that a I, lot I, of things think, happened, though. I think uh, a lot of the trash got taken out, too. Oh, yeah. 100%. Right? We all agree and we are, on that? Yes, and we, we are down, down with that. And I think in 2021, a, a lot more of the trash will be... Hopefully so. You know, cleaned up and out of here and... We just have good vibes in the locker room again. And yep, a lot more following the trend, getting yeah. like second in the trash up. Exactly, man. I sure I hope just, so. And uh, that goes back to just be a good person, right? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Be a good person and keep your head down. Don't be a, a butthead and mm-hmm. you'll be good, you know? So. And what yeah. a good note to end that on. Yeah, man. Yeah, be man. a good person, 2021. 2020. Taking out the trash, 2021, yeah. uh, baby. I'm getting signed next year. So <laughs> <okay>. Sick. <laughs> but yeah, uh, thank you guys for listening to us on this makeshift podcast that we do all the time yeah hopefully I mean, you can use any of this yeah. <laughs> no. yeah that beginning oh my god yeah, what a time cut out for me. <laughs> shout out to Jay yeah shout everyone give it up to Jay Amazing for editing all the episodes that we've ever done there you go buddy we love Jay is this the last one uh, for the year yeah Wow, really? Yeah, yeah it is. Oh, well, congrats to you guys. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Right? I, I feel like you kind of came in in the middle. It's like my, it looks like you know, third, like my third one. Yeah. yeah. That's, dude, what, no, that's, what, that's what Ray said to the orchard. Like, you've only, only been here two months. I don't know if you're good for you. And I was like, okay, that's <laughs> Whatever, fair. It's all good. Fine. No, yeah. seriously, y'all guys are doing the thing. And, you know, would y'all be open to, like, having non AAPW yes, people? Yes. We've talked about that yeah. a million times. Okay. Well, yeah. I, can, I can message people. People, oh, if y'all dude, just want to please, yeah. To if you want to, one hundred percent. Give me I'll some names, and I'll, you know, it, he's the boss on this. Cool, yeah. Man. This is Ooh, that's this, a this big, his baby. That's You're, a big your word, baby, boss. Dude, we'll talk to we're me just, after. Just, Seriously, because yeah. I'm just like, you know, I. Where's the godparents? Not here. to toot my own horn or anything, but like for yeah, whatever reason, people like me. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, <laughs> that's worth something. Yeah, it's <laughs> got to be worth something. All I got to do is message them and just do whoever you want. I'll, you know. Let's start off 2021 with a bang, right? Yes, yeah. sir. Should we should we say who the first guest is going to be for 2021? Oh, I would love to hear that. Do we have a guest? Yeah, right. I just work here. <laughs> I would love to hear it. Yeah, Where the big it? man Papa Don. So there look out. Yeah, yeah. starting off. It only took. Yeah, no, it nice. took long enough. We've only been doing this since what? Papa like Don. three months. We've been doing this for like three months or four months. Yeah, right. Yeah. 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 God, well, Papa isn't the type of guy to be like put myself over but, yeah that's true especially for this kind of stuff you know so yeah i had to mention it in passing and he was like because <laughs> I, I had talked to him about it before and he's like oh i'm not going on and doing that for Dude, myself it is legendary he did a i'm not gonna name drop who the interview was but he did an interview <laughs> And uh, was it here recently? <laughs> oh, I'm no. not gonna say. <laughs> I, I, I think I know. But he did, and he said uh, something about uh, uh, we've we've uh, thrived in the business for so long because I'm not a money mark and I don't come in. And the guy that was interviewing him was a money mark. <laughs> oh no! And then he told him, and then Pops was even still like, "Yeah, well, uh, you know." <laughs> that's just what you are <laughs> you know like dude's a badass I love he pops. does not care I love pops <laughs> does not care yeah yeah so, I, I mentioned him I mentioned him coming on the podcast in passing I, I've done it before and he'd be like he'd be like nah and, but then I mentioned in passing he was like dude why haven't you put me on yet and I was like what yeah dude yeah. that'd be a great guest I'm saying I can't up, wait for that you better come prepared and ask him some questions man, I'm ready he's, he's gonna kill it I love it I'm so ready that's a great yeah dude yeah. he'll come with it he'll tell it like it is too yeah. that's why I f*** with him man I'm not gonna lie Papa Don. He always tells it like it's like it like it is. You know? He does not care. He'll he'll tell you. Yeah. If, well, in a business benefit, where people and then business yeah. where people will tell you what you want to hear, 
It's he won't. It, yeah, yeah. He, he won't. And that's exactly what you need. That's good though. That's something to respect too. Yeah. yeah but uh, yeah, we we gotta end this. You know, we got stuff to do. We're busy people. Later. Okay. Yeah. So uh, thank you guys for listening all this time. We really appreciate it. Share it, like it, subscribe. We'll see you next year. Peace. Later. Bye.